A local duo is sharing their knowledge of fungi with people across the country. ABC 7's Katie Frazier caught up with the pair on how they have been teaching folks about fungi and what they see for the future of mushroom research. She reports. You can cook them, you could drink them, but you could also boost your immune system with them. However, there are many more uses of mushrooms than you may know about. It's really cool seeing firsthand the stigma being broken around mm. mushrooms and fungi, and we're definitely seeing that here in our community in El Paso. Maximilian Esparza and Ike Soret Hernandez are educating all walks of life that fungi can be very beneficial for a variety of purposes. We just had a mushroom conference in Austin, Texas this past April and fortunately it was uh, a very good turnout. The conferences Mycelium Matters has been a part of cover topics from the latest on psilocybin research to mushrooms in food systems and more. We're also starting to work with schools locally here in El Paso, so we're partnering with the um, IB program at El Dorado to give um, like the IB students like workshops on soil cultivation and mushroom cultivation as well. There are functional uses for fungi as well as medicinal. Now with using fungi as a material and also using it to break down things like petroleum and also plastics with no stigma or no negative stigma people can be inspired to research these topics. There's a lot of people now who are way more interested in mushroom that never heard of them before used to be scared of them and because of all the research and clinical data coming out showing that functional mushrooms are beneficial for health and even psilocybin mushrooms are beneficial for mental health and for things like PTSD and anxiety and depression a lot of people are becoming sort of okay with it now. Research is ongoing across the entire country on the many uses of mushrooms. Who knows what the future will bring us? Katie Frazier, ABC7. From our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom, it's the only planetarium in Las Cruces.